the last lesson one three that you guys did over the weekend, uh, it's it was basically the same idea except for instead of less than what did it say? Equal. Said equal. Said, but everything else is uh, completely identical. Uh, there is one minor difference. Actually, I shouldn't say minor because if you do it, don't don't remember it, you'll get things wrong. But it isn't very like big, huge, complicated idea. It's just a simple, one simple difference, and I'll explain why it's a difference. So I'm going to start it like I start any other one, okay? Simplify, any fractions or parentheses? No, so let's go to the next one, which is isolate, which means get the letters on the same side and the numbers on the other side, okay? So which way do you want to move the Y? To the right. Yeah, because yeah, this is for, and this is the way I kind of think of it, it's nice to have it be positive. It just makes life easier. Especially with these ones, by the way. So, if I move it over this way, I'm going to throw it over here, I'm going to subtract it, right? So there's four over here, I'm going to throw it over here, it's a minus, so how many lines are over here? Just one. Just one, right? Okay, let's take the two, let's throw it over here, that's subtracting, right? Negative five. Negative five, right? Minus, minus two. Alright, so that says, what does that say? Y is greater than negative five. Y is greater than negative 5, or you could say negative 5 is less than y. Okay? Now, most of you are going to want to write your answers like this. That's fine. If you get this answer, I kind of like it like this too, because it's easy to read. And easy to understand what it's saying is to write it this way. But either answer is going to be totally okay. It really just matters that you see how the big side is where y is in both cases. Okay? So that, that's the first part, and that's, that's hardly any different than, than uh, how you solve the other kind. The next thing it's going to ask you to do a lot is to graph it on the number line. And so this is what I don't, you can do this, but it'll, it'll probably annoy me if you do. Okay, zero. Um, one, two, what's your name? One, two, three, three, one, two. Three, four. Okay, this is at negative five. Oh, I need to go farther. Negative five, negative six. Okay. All right. So don't do that. <laughs> we need one number. I like that plan. Impressive. We need one number. That's all we need. The number that you're using. When it says y is greater than negative five, first of all. At negative 5, I'm going to draw something. I'm either going to draw an open circle or a closed one. A closed one indicates that it can actually equal negative 5. An open one says you can go up to negative 5, but you can't equal it. Which one is this? Open. 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 You can't equal negative 5, right? So I'm going to go open. Greater than is which direction? Right. right. To the right. Did I need all the other numbers to indicate that? Yeah. No. So I'm not going to require you to draw that out. That, that is excessive information and it's a waste of time. Okay? By now I hope you know what numbers are this way and what numbers go that way. Okay? Yeah. Anyway. So we need to right. right, so there you go. There's the answer. There's the answer. Why is greater than negative 5? There's the number line, an open circle of negative 5 greater than to the right. Okay? So that's how it would be if it was equal. Here, I, I have greater than or equal to like this. The rule is if you divide, only if you divide or multiply both sides, divide or multiply both sides by a negative number, you can subtract, you can add negatives, it doesn't matter. But if you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, which we just divided both sides by negative 0.3, right? You have to flip this around. So instead of saying going that way, it has to go that way. So this would say P is greater than or equal to negative 40. P is greater than or equal to negative. See, I, I just. I wanted to write it a little bit different. So, again, simple number line. Here's negative 40. Open or closed? Closed. Closed. Which way? Right. Greater than? 
Right. Well, no, I mean, I, I didn't flip it this time. This time I just rewrote it. Here it's actually really flipped because the P's still over here. I just flip it. Now, I want you to understand why. Let's go to a number line. This time we're going to actually write two numbers. Let's write uh, 10 and negative 10. I want you to think of what an equivalent sort of idea is going to be. If I say that, what am I saying? Greater than or equal to Greater than 10. All numbers greater than 10, right? What is the, I want you to think, I want you to think about this. When we multiply by a negative, we're changing it from 10 to negative 10, right? And I just want you to think physically, here's zero. We're taking 10 and we're flipping it over zero. So if I take this red graph and I flip it over zero, which way does it point? The other way. It points the other way, right? <laughs> this says x is greater than 10. If I make it the opposite, or I multiply both sides by negative 1, right? What does this say? Less. Less. x is less than negative 10. If I go from this one and I multiply by negative 1 and go the other way, because it flips around zero, that's why this thing flips when you multiply or divide by negative. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay? It has to do with the number line. Number line has two directions. It goes out this way, it goes out this way. So what is greater than this way it must be less than that way. Because this is right greater than, this way is left. That's less than. Okay? All right, let's move on. Very long to do these. This is the most complicated one. The other one's actually simpler. You ready? All right. People look at this and they freak out. What do I do first? Well, just erase one side and then ask yourself, what would you do first? What would you do? First? <laughs> 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 what would you do? <laughs> you would add two, right? Yeah, I know it's on my hand. Okay. You'd add two, right? You have a third side, you're going to do the same thing to the third side. You're trying to do the same thing to everything. You just have three sides now. It's a scale with three sides. It's like a triangle scale. Anyway, 10 plus 2 is 12. What, did, what does this become? 3y. 3y? This becomes 21. Okay, again, if I just had this, what would I do? Divide by three. Divide by three. So I'm going to do it to everything. Divide by three. So it's four. Why? Whoa. And real quick, what two numbers are we going to write? Four. Four and seven. Seven. This one's going to be close. Close. And this one's going to be open. And this is really obvious. It's between, right? Why is in between these two numbers? Okay. All right, let me move on. We don't have a lot of time. Come on. Let's go. All right, here we go. This one is even easier. This one's even easier. Whenever it says or, they're going to be separate statements. So you solve them separately. What do I, what do, I do here? Subtract three. Subtract three. So x is less than negative, negative one. Over here, what am I going to do? Divide by negative one or multiply by negative one. What happens when I do that? I'm going to put the sign. So it's going to be x is less than or equal to four. Because I've got to flip it. Right. Nice. All right? And this is or, so when I graph them, guess what I do? I graph them. I solve them separately. I graph them separately, but on the same line. I mean, I'm going to draw them on the same line. So here's negative 1. It's less than that. It's open, and that's that way, right? Here's 4. That's closed, and that's that way, right? So in reality, did I even need the negative 1? No. Nah. Do we have so to write the other one? What? If that happens, do we, can we just write four? Okay. Yeah, we can just start four. Yeah.